Hello and welcome to how to create a shirt. Um, this is just going to be a basic breakthrough of how to make a shirt cutout and a simple shirt design and that's it. And um, I'm going to try to go as slow as I can step by step but the steps is also going to be written down on the group page just in case I'm going a little too fast so don't worry so first thing you want to do is get your mesh code which I'm going to be using Barbarista I use her for everything basically and this is the code shirt blah 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 and you just want to save as which I don't need to save it over again because I already have it but you know just press click save as will save it at a place where you can find it and then blah 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 if it's gonna be a sleeveless shirt you don't really need the sleeves this right here is the sleeves which you don't need you know you can just use this okay oh and once you have that once you saved it click dev from product you don't have to type in the number because I noticed some people do that. You just click that from product. Okay. Get your model AV up. Okay. Now the first thing you want to get rid of is the sleeves, of course, because you're not going to use that which she usually has it color coordinated so when you see green that's where obviously the green sleeves is at you click that um hold on let me go back to show you what you click um you click on texture plus edit go to your pictures you should have a black paper saved as you can see right here um you can make it or you could google one it just a jet black paper put that in the texture and also put it in the opacity and do the same thing for the white part also you see this white part here do the same thing put black put black and then click apply and there you have a just the pink part don't do nothing with the pink part yet so once you take off your sleeves now you can start with your design of how you want the shirt cut out now you're gonna go to your GIMP open um, go to where your top is and basically just open it up then click on new layer and click on new layer again. You're gonna add two new layers. And then you wanna move this up. What the heck? Hold on, it's acting kind of weird now. Okay. Yeah, so put the um thing in the middle. I don't know why I was doing that, but yeah. So just move the mesh code to the middle and, you know, make it look like a little sandwich or whatever. Click down on your bottom layer, which is just going to say layer. And you want to go to your paint bucket over here. Click paint bucket. Click on black. And then this bottom layer should be black once you click on the picture. So you should see black over here, mesh code, and then nothing. Now, once you do that, click on layer one. You might want to zoom in a little bit. But yeah, click on layer one. Now you could pick any shape you want, really. Um, 
this is the square shape so I'm gonna click on that this is just a average tube top so I'm gonna click on that and basically go across all the way to the end try not to leave no mesh because if you leave it just a little bit then it's gonna come out weird so make sure you do it all the way to the end you don't have to cover the whole thing but make sure you do it up on a brass area yeah you can make it short where the breast is but try not to make it too short to where the nipple is going to show but you know you could do it maybe a little bit whatever so after you do your square rectangle shape click on your photo bucket again switch over to the white and click on the white and this is just basic design we're not going to get into stripes and how to do v-necks because once you get the basic design down then you can do you know how to do everything else the main thing is whatever is white is going to show and whatever is black is not going to show so um after you do that click select and click none and that's how you get rid of the moving dot and then you click hide background So basically, this will be a cutout. So no matter, all the black is not going to show. Wherever the white is, that's what's going to show on the shirt. So then you do that. Click save as or save. Save it somewhere where you can find it. You know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, what the heck? And um, okay, minimize that. Now, once you do that, go to the pink, go to the opacity, go to your cutout. And you can see I have many different cutouts. You can see like the different designs, which I don't even have to use, you know, when well, I'm using this, but you know, this is just a simple tube top. Or well, if I want to change it up, let's say I want to use this with the corsets. Yeah. Even though this is more, you know, stripper clothes looking. But basically, you can use any mesh code you can think of. I mean, cutout, I mean, you see how any cutout goes? Doesn't matter. Because whatever's in white, that's what's going to show. Whatever's in black, is not going to show. But go back to the regular two top. Okay, now you could do one or two things. You could click on the texture and you could just put any picture you want. You say you just want to do some plaid type of thing. And then you have like a plaid shirt. Blah, 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 blah. Or you can do basically the same thing, but this is the extra long way where you can make the shirt look more real. After you add your, you go back to your GIMP, you put back up your background. Okay, and you add another layer. This is where we get to the design and everything. Um, you might want to lower your capacity on the white up here because you're going to need to see where to put your gloss and everything. So we're just gonna lower this right here. Keep that new layer. Um, go to your files. Or you could go to open or whatever and they say you wanna pick the same, we're gonna pick the same exact tab shirt. So, uh, was it this one? Did I pick? Right. Oh wait, blah. Drag it over. Okay, so there you got your plaid shirt. You can just drag it over, or you could just press file, open, and you know, open your design that you want. 
and you want to lower the, the opacity on that one too until you see the lines a little bit now it should look you know a little bit like this then click it back on layer one go to your paint brush um, you can use any one of these designs really I usually use the um the fuzzy brush and basically where you see the brush at or whatever you're gonna I usually make like a little line hold on make sure it's on you know the invisible layer zigzag here now if you want to get it even on the same exact side over here because sometimes it's hard to do the same exact curve and squiggle just click on the layer that you just did that press duplicate layer which is right here and then press flip you're gonna see like this flip button right here and basically you see it goes basically exactly to the other side that way you don't have to worry about oh is the sides even or you know blah 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 and once you do that you can merge the layer down the gloss layers I call it the gloss layers but you know you just merge it down I'm gonna go to filter blur gauzeland blur that's how you make it, you know, kind of faded. And press OK. And then overlay. Over here is where you do the overlay. And um, I guess we want to add an extra layer of shine um, do that so you like do something like in the middle or something and basically you do the same thing filter blur gauze and blur Okay. Overlay. Now go back to this layer, your pattern that you was using, and put the opacity back up. There you just see like the little highlighted area where basically you put highlights at. Now if you want to make the fabric look more real, you go to filter artistic clothy and um basically you know the more up you go the more softer it looks the more further down you go the more jean it looks like jean material so and I guess you can make the depth to whatever uh, Basically, that would be the shirt. But I say you don't like how it looks, just press undo because I don't like it's too deep looking for me. Artistic, clothy. Here we go. There. And now you have your shirt. And then basically you do the same thing, save as. Make sure you can save it somewhere where you can find it. Minimize 